It's Rob! Tony! And I'm Jeff. We're in gaming, and that's you! What is going on, guys? It's me, Warshack, or Rob, whichever one you call me. I have no idea why I had an accent. And we are looking at the quest we have now. We've got Druid or Rogue or Priest or Warlock. What are we going to play? Um, I'm going to guess we're, we have more light. We're going to keep the Rogue because we're playing that in Arena right now. We'll get rid of the Priest or Warlock and hopefully get when we're through with any class. I can work with that. So I believe we left off when we were 6 and 1. Yes. So we'll continue on our streak of Arena. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish up Arena in this run and then see what we get in our pack. See what kind of rewards we get. Maybe open up another pack beyond that to see, uh, just to kind of uh, use some of our gold a little bit. But I do want to save up because uh, buying the first wing of Nax, uh Ramus is pretty important. So we can get, you can get, we can start getting like the cards we need to have a decent ladder deck. So we can start getting pretty high up in ladder, or I should say low in ladder. And then from there, we'll actually be able to get good end of the month rewards which are really nice because getting you know golden epics or legendaries from that are pretty important uh for free we don't even have to do arena we just we just get the rank and we get the rewards which is really nice so as long as we win one more game uh with the arena in arena we'll be able to get a decent how you should say uh our, one, one more win will get us a seven and like i said seven is key in order to getting uh rewards that uh, are beyond the benefits of paying the beyond the cost of paying 150 gold to enter in an arena okay so from here we're going to see paladin which is not surprising we had no turn one play but we do have a turn two play we have two, we have multiple turn two plays and we have a turn three play we also have the assassinate in case he plays anything too big but this is definitely not a card i want early on like this turn one assassinate is not a card you can have but assassinate is a cool picture because that rogue that's stabbing the guy in the neck with the dagger is pretty cool rogue armor when you're talking, you know, tier one, two, or three armor, when WoW was in vanilla stages, that was definitely, that's good stuff. So, Bone Guard Lieutenant. There's actually no way for us to get rid of that. And next turn, if he chooses to pass it, it's going to be a 3-3, three, three, which is definitely something annoying. So, our options are to throw down this guy, which he will not be getting his combo to deal one damage. Or we throw down this guy and we don't give our weapon the plus one attack. So what do we find better in this situation? Plus one attack and or combo deal one damage. I think having plus one attack is a little bit better than dealing plus one damage. So we're going to actually throw down the Undercity. If he has an actual turn two card, that's pretty bad. If he just uses his passive, it's not as bad because we'll be able to kind of deal with that and puts him back a turn. But if he has a turn one card, or well, his coin into his turn two, yeah, this is horrible. I'm pretty sure we lose this game. <laughs> this Paladin start is absolutely insane. Well we just throw him out the well played, let him know that is a, a pretty, a pretty, no, not well played as in your good, well played as in your hand is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we want to keep the auto barber, art, well, auto barber for turn four. So playing the injured blade master is just going to die, so I'm pretty sure we just iron for Grizzly. If I watch him like muster for battle or like cog hammer. <laughs> All right, Jeweled Scarab for the free three drop. Killing off this creature here, so now we'll be able to auto barber, kill off his 2 2, and then that gives us a semi decent initiative. And he'll have to deal with our. Um... Wait, it has to be comboed. Whoops, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, God. <laughs> this is my. Uh... My first arena of the day, you can kind of see uh, why it's my first arena of the day. We make mistakes like that. Rip, he did have the cog hammer though, we guessed that. That was a... Uh... <laughs> rip, boys, rip. Alright, if we still win this, we deserve some sort of reward. He's had an amazing start with amazing cards. And we've been making some amazing mistakes. <laughs> I can't even be mad anymore. When, when I make mistakes like, oh, this card needs to be comboed, and then don't combo it with something, and then ask why they didn't get comboed. That's pretty funny. So he's going to make favorable trades into our... Uh, actually, if he goes face here, that's pretty good. Okay, so he's really being... He's being exceptionally greedy right now. We can punish him. We definitely can punish him. Not with the uh, summoning stone, we can't punish him. But uh, we should be able to punish him with normal cards. So... Do we play 
I think we play this to draw into it, and if not, we just Puddle Snopper. Okay, that's pretty good. So we can actually kill that for free. Now we're going to swing our weapon into this 2-1. We Puddle Stomper. And we kill off this 1-1. And what killing off a 1-1 may sound really dumb. But for the most part, being able to just clear his field so he doesn't have blessings of the king targets. We definitely needed to take off the uh, Divine Shield, which is probably maybe even a better route of action. But at the same time, I just didn't want to take 2 for no damage, assuming he didn't have the blessings of the king. So it was kind of just like... Uh... Hopefully he doesn't have it, but he did. And we didn't have the option to use our weapon to kill it off, which was another, you know, plan, but we also didn't have that. So we're going to assassinate without a doubt. We're going to save our creature. We're going to take the one. We're going to re-weapon because we don't have a two drop. We're going to swing for one. So ideally from here, we just hope he doesn't have big creatures to fall on. And then we can kind of just slowly win over the field. But I mean, assuming for the deck that he has, he, where he's going to have seven drops. Especially him just drawing into one. No. So he plays the Battle Cry Discover a Beast. Hopefully it's not like King Crush. <laughs> Picked it kind of fast. Three drop. Ah, the River Croc. Okay, so he's not going for anything too crazy now. So for an essential four drop, he got, you know, almost filled out his entire curve. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we Ass Blade here. We kill off his 3-3. Three, three, and we play our Injured Blade Master. Um... If I were to play, I would normally play Dragonhawk Rider, but since we're not going to be using our weapon anytime soon, and it's not going to be getting the Wind Fury, there's no really point to play that. So he has 5 damage. Okay. Pit Fighter, ouchies. So, not really sure what the best card in our deck is here, but I believe that early game mess up, really. Really bamboo, we, that really messed us up. So, we're going to be left at pretty much just 1 health. So hopefully he doesn't have one damage and we'll be able to... We can't even kill that next turn with our current field situation. We need some sort of draw potential and or... Okay. That's game for us. Oh no. So we have to win the next game to get seven wins. I have faith though we can win the next game. I don't think losing this one was too bad. I mean it's bad because we played it out really really bad at the beginning of the game. Like that was just completely my fault. Um due to scrub mistakes, but I think we can get seven wins. As long as we get seven, again, I'm fine. This deck really isn't that great. I didn't expect to get seven with this arena deck. I expected like in the three to four range, to be completely honest, um, but I'll take seven. <laughs> I will take seven. We get six, so that's disappointing. Six is just like you were so close and it was just probably due to making silly mistakes like last game. So we're going against another rogue, which makes me think that he has a pretty good, I don't know, going against other rogues is, if they know what they're doing, a rogue versus rogue can be a pretty intense matchup. So we're going to get rid of all these. We have the coin into the ringleader, which is really nice. Maybe keeping Ass Blade was a good good kind of card there to keep. Because that's just a 3-5 weapon. That's just an insane card. Especially if we didn't need to save, or didn't need to use coin right off the bat. So it all depends what he plays here. So he plays nothing. So I think we Argent Squire, right? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll just start off this game super, super crazy. We'll just go in for it right now. We'll start off real strong. Oh, for some reason, I thought this was a 1-1 one, one and not a 2-1. That's even better. So now he's at the option where he has to pretty much weapon up. And if he doesn't, we're going to be able to kill whatever creature he plays. So, weapon up. And that delays him a turn of playing whatever two-drop creature he could have had. And then from here, I'm pretty sure we just uh, Valent. Or we weapon up ourselves. So, we could weapon up ourselves. And swing for two. Because next turn, we'll be able to play the Argent Squire and the Valent. And the Valent will do one and our weapon will do one. So, if he plays a three-drop with less than two health... We'll be able to make a trade into that without killing any of our creatures and putting two creatures on the board. Then from there, we don't have a turn four play, but we do have a turn three play. That our, our, we do have a three drop, but normally wouldn't want to use mind control tech just as tempo. But because if, our, if we have three cards on turn three and he has none, I don't think mind control tech is that crazy. So it looks like he does play the card with two HP, which is perfectly fine with us. He uses the last remnants of his weapon, so we don't really have to worry about that. The auto barber didn't get too much value. 
So now we summon that. We hit this with this. We swing into that. And we actually get the combo that we needed to this time. <laughs> and we drew into a four drop, which is perfect. This is what I was scared of not being able to draw into. And only having to play this on turn four. Or passive and do nothing else. Alright, so he plays the Yeti. That's a card. Okay, um... I think we backstab it and then swing it. We wouldn't even need to do that, would we? Backstab only does two, and this is only two. So we definitely need to swing our three two into it. All right, so it looks like we're killing it. And uh, we just give this stealth, I suppose. Just put a four four on the board. Not that giving it stealth is too important, but it's better than re-upping a weapon. A 4-4 body is better than a no body. Oh no, stealth doesn't matter. You can't hide from the Goto. <laughs> oh no. Okay, um... I would say reverse switch this guy and kill it off. But I don't know really how important that is. I'm not sure what he could do. Like, next turn, let's say he weapons... Oh, it's already too late now. Actually, it's not too late now. I think we kill it off. Yeah, we kill this off. I was going to say, next turn, if we don't kill it off, then he's just going to weapon up and kill off my 4-4. But then that gives him a potential to, you know, buff it or do some crazy shit. But now he's forced to weapon in order to kill our 4-1. And that only leaves him 4 mana to play a 4 drop. And then whatever he plays, we could potentially reverse it. Combo that with the Shadow Pawn, our Shadow Pan. I think we're, we think we're all right. Health doesn't matter. Board control is what matters here, boys. So I don't mind swinging my weapons into creatures. So he plays the Twilight. He's going to weapon kill our 4-1. That's a really nice card, too. Because our, our swap really doesn't... I guess you could... You know, because if we swap it and we swing into it with our 4-6, that dies, too. Oh, wow. That's a good card to play. Hmm. Do we just Grizzly and passive? Or do we actually kill off the Drake? I think we just do this, to be honest. We see what he does here. Because he's going to swing his 4-7 into that, bringing his 7 down to 4 attack. Then we can make a trade with our 4-6 into it, leaving our Spectral Knight still at 2 health. And then hopefully, if he plays anything from there, we can Blade Fury and then Paddle, Ran, or Paddle Shadow Pan Rider. All right, and then I've also, I had asked the question previously, oh my gosh, let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, I'm recording. <laughs> I had asked the question previously, how should I deal with the responses I get when people message me? Because obviously with it popping up on the screen is kind of, you know, it sets things off a little bit. So the idea, or not the idea, but the, um, what somebody messaged was just have your friends list open on your other monitor and then if people ask questions you can answer the question but it doesn't need to pop up on the screen and you type on the screen which is disruptive for i guess the video sometimes so that's what i'm gonna do about that so this guy asked me about um is there any like crowdfunding platform thing i have for the channel meaning do we have any sort of donations where people can subscribe and help out the channel you know help out me being a college student not, you know, being able to work full time with having, with helping me be able to. He plays three creatures and not four. Fuck. Uh, just pretty much help the channel out, and we'll get onto that in a second. All right, if we draw some sort of weapon enhancer, we win. We do not win. Um. There's really no fantastic thing to do here because I don't want to we can eviscerate this and kill off this I don't know like I just don't want to waste the reversing switch but it looks like we can do that it really doesn't matter because we do this and this we can chat yeah so we can reverse switch with this, doesn't matter. We're gonna kill this. We're gonna kill that. 
Gonna swing with this. I guess we're gonna re, -re, -re weapon back up. I guess we could have played mind control tech and developed field, saved that. I guess we could have reverse switched. No, either way, we had to eviscerate and we had to play a card prior, and the only card to play prior was that. Because both of those cards need to be comboed, unless we wanted the Blade Fury, and that still wouldn't have killed anything anyway. It seems like that you only really Blade Fury when you're able to, you know, get good use out of it. It's a really nice card, so. If we draw Ass Blade, we win. If we don't draw Ass Blade, I mean, we don't really have a ton of cards to play here. He's going to be able to kill off our Spectral Knight, which is not so swell. And then, um... We don't really have i guess we've got the mind control tech so if he plays three creatures here that is so great but he's not because he'd still have to play more than that he'd have to play four creatures because he's going to kill off this with that oh yeah so oh no so he actually might not kill off his creature with this okay okay oh no that's not good a damage ouchies and he's going to give it invisibility which means we have to draw into a buff for our weapon. Holy shit, he's pulling lethal next turn. And we just got so fucking lucky, boys. Like, on a luck scale of 100, we just, like, won. Okay, so just to make sure we have enough mana, we mind control tech, comboed into this, into that. That's 7 mana, so. Like, we just got so fucking lucky. <laughs> <laughs> that just won us the game we needed a weapon enhancer which this guy granted like you know how salty this guy is right now like that was probably that was the best draw for me out of 18 19 cards at the time i mean ass blade would have been fine too because we would have ass blade and then uh blade fury but with this we actually put two creatures on the board which pushed lethal next turn on top of that so fan of knives he's looking for he's looking to He's looking for cards, boys. So if we draw like Ass Blade next turn and he doesn't, he can't kill one of our three drops, we win. Okay, so as for this guy's question, if we do have, we have any sort of like uh, fan funding kind of things to help or for you guys to help me out, you know, with the channel and, you know, buy equipment and whatnot, we actually do have a donation button. It should be on our channel page like right in our banner the bottom right of it it has like all of our links for our facebook our instagram our twitter and then it also has that little donation thing and it goes through paypal so it's safe it's not like i'm trying to you know we're trying to screw you guys over whatsoever well this is bad so we're just gonna go face here all right so he's at one health i don't see him coming back from here i believe we had our seven wins so yeah it runs through paypal um and I, I think that's pretty much all that needs to be said. I don't really advertise our donation button too much because that's not the point of the channel is to, you know, benefit off you guys watching my videos and just make tons of money. It's all here for the helps. And uh, I enjoy doing what I do. And if you guys want to help out, that's fine. And if you don't, that's fine too. Totally understand. Okay, so we win. Oh, look at you. We have reached seven wins. <laughs> nice. We reached seven wins due to RNG. There it is, boys. Let's keep going. All right, so yeah, I'll respond back to the guy. Um, we have a... Mage. We haven't seen Mage too much, have we? I feel like Paladin's been very, very popular, and I haven't. Like, normally Mage is like the most popular, but surprisingly not. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of these cards. They're not really creatures that we can play early on. We're looking for early game creatures. We got a 2, we got a 4, we got a 4, and we got a 7, which is not great. Especially against a Mage. Greetings. So I believe we're going to coin out the Puddle Stomper. I assume he's going to either arcane missiles and or frostbolt or play probably a 2-3 creature. Oh, so he just fire blasted it? Okay. Ooh, Defias Ringleader. So what's better? 
I think they playing the yeah definitely playing the barber is better here because if we just play this it's just a two two, but if we play this uh, comboed with something it brings out you know another card that he's gonna have to use his ping on. So from here I am almost positively sure we use this we swing into this we kill off his two one with our weapon, and then we keep our three two on the board keeping that sweet sweet initiative. <laughs> And then turn four, probably mechanical yeti. I mean, I guess we could play uh, the dragonoid, the dragonling. Summoning stone would be such a great card if we had more spells in this deck. If we were running like a mage deck, hey, look, you just gave us some spells. Oh, we just gave us an a drop, but that's like the worst a drop you could possibly give us, because because when we play we summoning stone and then we twisting nether, it's gonna. Does it say whenever you cast a spell? Yeah, so it actually summons the creature prior to casting the spell. I was going to say if it's after you cast a the spell, then you could clear field and summon an A drop, which would be cool, but damn. That sucks. <laughs> That's like, it's a great card, no doubt. But like, <laughs> I was mentioning cards that help us with summoning stone. It gave us like the worst possible card it could do with summoning stone. I would, I, I like, even a target dummy would be more effective than this, because this just kills it. It kills itself. There's no value. Alright, so he's going to play a secret. It's most likely, I'm assuming, going to be a copy. So we're just going to play that accordingly. So we're going to ask Blade, kill his 4-3. It's actually a hunter secret. Are you fuck? Okay. I thought it was, uh... I don't know, what would have targeted when I attacked it? Like a misdirect? Do we kill off one of these things? I don't think so. I think we just hit face for four, because next turn, if he wants to kill off the Yeti, then he's just going to swing all of the snakes into this and then ping it for one. Oh, shit. Well, that would have been probably the only card he could have... So we denied him, what, one card draw? Wow. And he can still ping off the Yeti. That's not good. How many cards in his hand? Eight. We were doing so well until that shit happened. All right, so we're gonna kill off that shit, and we're gonna play as many cards as we can. We're gonna that whole. Oh no, we're playing into Flame Strike. Whoops. Oh well. So he either has Flame Strike or he doesn't. You know he's got it. Hundred percent. You know he's got it. But we only technically played two cards here. These cards are just like extra shit that comes out. So it can't really be that mad. And then from here, I guess we can next turn seven into the uh, Blade Master to the Shadow, Master of Disguise. And then from there, we can buff him up with this. And then, of course, we'll Summoning Stone into the Twisting Other for the lols. Just kidding. I'll never fucking do that. That's like the trolliest way to lose. It's like you know you're going to lose by like... You'd even have to... This has to sit on the field for one turn in order for you to use both of those. So he's going to freeze one. And he plays the Fen Creeper. What the fuck was the point of that? Okay. Um, pretty sure we Stormwind Champion here. There's too much value on the board not to. So we kill off one of these. Playing around Flame Strike by killing off that, swinging for three. So even if he has Flame Strike right now, it's really not that bad because we still have a card that lives. I actually have two cards that live. Well played. Do I see eight wins in our sights? Well, he can summon up. War home armored warhorse. Will he win the joust? He will not. Rip in pepperonis. Spellbreakers to the silence, which is really nice on his part. Next card, granting all of our cards at plus one is just fantastic. So I'd say the best draw for us would be Blade Fury right there. Uh, but this is still fine, too. So how do we effectively deal with this card? Because it would take both of these cards to swing into it. I guess we could switch. We could... Um, I guess we could... Do we want to Summoning Stone? I don't see why not. I don't... Okay, why not? Fuck it, right? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this into this. Swing like that. Swing like this. Swing like that. And then next turn we gotta make sure we twisting nether. I'll fucking do it, I ain't scared. 
I ain't scared. I will twisting. I will twisting nether. Is it neither or nether? It's neither. I will twisting neither with lethal at hand, just to get that summoning stone walls. Maybe. <laughs> All right. We had a we had a whisper in the chat. We had a whisper in the chat. Wait, where's that whisper at? Uh, it wasn't there. Where is it? Hey, just want to say that your free-to-play videos are awesome, and I love the deck guides. You do. You do, man. Okay. Thank you, bro. Alright, do we do it? Do we do it? We got seven wins. But, I mean, it's a free-to-play account. But, we got seven wins. Alright, 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 alright. This is what we do. This is what we do. This is what we'll do. Alright. Alright, we're gonna fucking do it, boys. Oh, God! <laughs> Oh, and it gave us arcade missiles! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Take missiles, motherfucker! Pew! 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 <laughs> if he has Pyroblast, he wins. Oh, Ronin was the best A drop because his. Oh, man, that was so fantastic. Don't play a whole bunch of cards. Fuck you. Alright, so we have two arcane missiles and we just need one of them to hit face. So if we use both of these, that puts it at 8, 6. So I'm pretty sure I do this, just in case. Alright, now we arcane missiles for the lols, boys. One needs to hit face. Alright, none of those hit face. Let's try this again. One of them needs to hit face. There we go, we win. Woo! Twisting nether with summoning stone. I called that shit. Oh man, that was fun as fuck. <laughs>